In the last section, we started talking about using Docker for Windows or Docker for Mac to get access to the Docker client and the server. In this section, we're going to walk through the setup process on a Mac OS machine. So if you are using Windows right now, then pause this video and skip over to the next lecture. All right, so if you're still here, I'm going to assume that you are on a Mac OS based machine. So here's what we need to do. We're going to first go to docker.com inside of our browser, where we are going to sign up for a Docker Hub account. We need a Docker Hub account not only to download the Docker for Mac client, but we also need it for some stuff that we're going to do later on inside the course. After that, we're going to download the installer package. We're going to log into Docker. And then finally, we're going to verify our installation by running one or two quick commands. So let's get to it. Again, the first thing we'll do is navigate to docker.com inside of our browser. So I'm going to go to docker.com. And then on the top right hand side, you'll see a button that says get started. So I'm going to click on that. I'm then going to make sure that I am on the developer tab and then I'll find download for Mac over here on the right hand side. Now, when I click on that button, it's going to take me to another page. This is the page that we're going to ultimately download this program from, but you'll notice that before we download it, we have to actually sign up for an account and log into Docker. So I'm going to click on please log in to download right there. And then we get prompted with a login screen. Now, if you do not already have an account, you can find the create account button down here on the bottom right hand side. So I'm going to open up that page very quickly. You'll notice that one of the first inputs that you have to enter on this sign up page is a Docker ID. This is a username of sorts, and it is going to be publicly visible to other people. We're going to need your Docker ID quite a bit throughout the remainder of this course. So no matter what you choose for your Docker ID right here, please make sure that it's something that you're going to remember. Okay, so once you sign up for your account, we will go ahead and log in and go back to this store page right here. So now that I'm signed in, I can see the Get Docker button right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and that's going to start up the download. Now, this is a rather large file. So just to save a little bit of time in this lecture, I went ahead and already downloaded the package. So once this thing has successfully downloaded on your machine, we're going to open it up. It's going to take just a second or two to do its little bit, of course. It always needs some extra time, right? And then once it's finally done, it's going to open up a window that looks like this right here. And so as you might guess, we're going to do a little drag and drop over to the Applications folder. Now once you copy that thing over, we now have to start up Docker on your machine. You can do this by either opening up your Launchpad right here, and you can find the new Docker program listed, or inside of any Folder Explorer window, you can go to the application section over here and find the listing for Docker. Now, once you get this thing copied over and installed, we're going to launch Docker by double clicking it. The first time you do this, it's going to appear that nothing at all is happening. But if you look up at the top right hand side of your screen, you'll see this little kind of whale icon with a set of boxes on it. And if you click on that, you'll see something that says Docker is starting. All right, after a minute or two, it's going to eventually resolve and the boxes are going to go completely steady. And that means that everything is done and set up on your local machine. Again, it might take a minute or two, so give it a little bit of time to get through all of its little steps. All right, now you'll notice that my little boxes have steadied out, which means that Docker has successfully booted up. So now the last thing that we're going to do is make sure that we log into Docker. So you're gonna click on this little button and then you're going to see a button right here or so that says log in with Docker. When you click on that, it's going to pop open a little window where you're going to enter in your Docker ID. Remember, that's the username, not your email. So it's the Docker ID and your password. Now, once you do that, the very last thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we can verify that everything was set up correctly. And so for this, you're going to open up your terminal. You can open up your terminal in any folder, it doesn't matter. And we're going to run a single command Docker version like so. As long as you see something like this appear on the screen, that means that you are all set and you're good to go. If you don't see something like this, if you get an error message, it means that something went wrong with the installation process. And you'll want to hop over to the Q&A section attached to this lecture where we'll do a little bit of troubleshooting. All right, so that's it. Let's take a quick pause right here and we'll continue in the next section.